welcome back to Ag in a Bag Week 1, Beef Cattle. Today we will be learning about what cows eat and how they digest their food. Unlike humans, cattle eat things like grass, hay, and grains. Do you eat hay for breakfast? No! That's because humans have a different type of digestive system than cattle do. While humans have a monogastric digestive system, meaning that they have only one stomach, cattle have four chambers to their stomach, which all help cattle to digest more fibrous materials like hay and grass. After food is swallowed, it travels two and a half to three feet down the esophagus to the first part of the stomach, which is called the rumen. The rumen is the largest of the four compartments and can hold over 25 gallons of material. Due to its size, the rumen is used to store food while also beginning to break it down. The rumen is also super cool. Here's why. The walls of this compartment are lined with little tiny bumps called papillae. These help to absorb more nutrients than if there were no bumps on the walls. Here, let me show you how that works. So now I'm gonna show you the difference between a rumen and some other stomach compartment that doesn't have as much surface area. So by using two different kinds of washcloths, or in this case, a car washer, um, I'm gonna demonstrate how one has way more surface area and can absorb much more than one that doesn't have any papillae or the little bumpy things uh, that the rumen has. So we're gonna start off by getting a large pitcher of water. Now, a little disclaimer, we're gonna make a mess. So if you're following along with me at home, make sure you have your parents' or guardians' permission to be doing this. I'm probably gonna get water everywhere, so don't do this without supervision. Okay, so here we have about six cups of water. Um, first, I'm gonna try um, and absorb as much water as I can with the non-papillae stomach organ. So we're just gonna dunk this in here and get as much water in it as we can. Squeeze it around. See, I'm already making a mess. All right, so now that it's completely full of water, as full as it can get, I'm gonna squeeze it out into a cup. As you can see here, about one cup came from this big bowl to this tall glass. Let's see how much the papillae stomach organ does. Now, we've started over at six cups and we're gonna see how much our fake rumen does. So. We have this nice little car washing washcloth here. Uh, it has all these little papillae on it, just like the rumen does. So we're gonna dunk this in the water and see how much water it transfers for us. Now remember, the water represents the amount of nutrients that the stomach organ is able to absorb. So let's see. So we dunk it in the glass and get it just as wet as we can like last time. As much water as we can fill up. Okay, now, even with the amount of water that's dripping back in there, we can see that much more water was taken with this washcloth than with the washcloth that had no bumps. Let me show you just how much. As you can see here, much more water was absorbed by our fake rumen. That's because it has all of these little bumps on it, which represent the papillae, just like the rumen has. These bumps increase the surface area so much that we've gone from absorbing one cup to absorbing about four. As you can see, these papillae are very important in the absorption of nutrients within the rumen. As this is where most of the food goes right after it is eaten, it's very important that nutrients are absorbed quickly. After those nutrients are absorbed, the food slowly makes its way to the next compartment, the reticulum. But not before making one final stop before entering the digestive system for real. That's right, now we're going to talk about how cows chew their cud. It's kind of gross, so get ready. The reticulum is a thickly lined pouch-like chamber that helps catch anything that may have been swallowed by the cow, but may not be safe to continue digesting, such as metal. 
This is sometimes swallowed on accident because cows are taking such big bites of things off the ground like grass or hay. Upon swallowing the food, the heavy items drop into the reticulum on their way to the rumen, just like this. After being stored in the rumen for a while, food is often regurgitated and chewed more thoroughly. This is called chewing the cud and helps to further break down materials before they re-enter the digestive tract. The reticulum is often called the honeycomb due to the structure of the walls, as seen here. After being further broken down by re-chewing and digesting in the rumen, food passes through the reticulum and continues down the digestive tract and onto the omasum. This compartment is responsible for absorbing water from the feed material before passing it on to the abomasum. The numerous folds in this compartment help it to absorb as much water as possible before it is passed on to the final compartment, the abomasum. The abomasum functions much like our stomach, by using stomach acid and enzymes to break down food. Finally, after passing through this stage, feed material passes through the small intestine, into the large intestine, and out the other end. Thank you for joining us for week one of Ag in a Bag, where we learned all about cows. Continue to follow us to learn more about soil, plants, and so much more. Don't forget to come back on Friday for our live craft. And thanks for watching. Bye.